Hey, what's going on guys? Destry here from DestryMonies.com and in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about the five consistent activities that you need to do in order to create lasting change in your business. Now, the first step of the consistent activities is content creation. And this isn't something that you have to do every day, but if you shoot for three to four pieces of content every week, you'll be on pretty good track to, uh, to build an audience and this positions you as an authority. So how do you create, where can you uh, create content? You can either do it through videos, you can do it through blog posts, um, audio posts, um, anything to help provide value to your audience. And usually something that holds people back from uh, creating content is uh, fear. So sometimes that uh, you, you have a fear of doing your first video or you might have um, a fear of you know getting on the phone and when you're calling your leads. I know when I got started in the industry, one of the biggest fears that I personally had was I had a hard time calling people on the phone. And it seems so um, silly to me now, but the first thing that I did to get over this fear is I actually took a job in insurance sales where I actually had to call a lot of uh, leads. And needless to say, after doing it for at least two to three weeks, I was over my fear of contacting people through the phone. So if you're afraid to do your first video, make sure that you just do a lot of it. So you don't have to post it online. Make sure if you want to just practice and just record it yourself, you don't have to post it anywhere. Just keep recording it. Keep getting used to it. I know a lot of people um, can relate to hating to hear the sound of their voice or looking at themselves in the in your video, but the more you do it and the more consistent that you are doing it, then you'll actually get over that fear very quickly. Now, the second consistent activity that you want to do to create lasting changes in your business is to, to expose people to your products or your business daily. So talk about the solution that you have to offer. So, and it's always about the excitement and the energy that you have when you're talking to people about your products. Now, you, you can be very energetic, but if someone is not looking for what you have to offer, then their chances are they're not going to buy. So continue to just build the relationship. Don't pitch people on your products or services. Just make sure that you, you build that relationship and you notice whenever they, they bring up something where your product or your business not, might be able to help them and you'll introduce them to your product or business only when they say something that is relevant to your product or business being a solution to their struggle. So third consistent activity is to, you want to be able to grow your audience daily. Um, some people try to do this across multiple platforms. I know I did this at first. I try to do build an audience through Twitter, through Instagram, and through Facebook all at the same time. And needless to say, I lacked the results because I was spreading my efforts way too thin. So then I started to focus on just one social media platform, and that's just Facebook. And uh, I've been getting consistent having people contact me about my business and being able to develop the relationships and my audience that way. So number four for your consistent activities is you want to be able to do personal development daily. Now, that can be either in the form of listening to audios, watching inspirational videos like this, or you can do uh, blog posts, but you always want to be working on your own personal development, whether or not you set aside 15 or 30 minutes a day, just make sure that you get it in uh, once a day and be consistent with it because the more that you learn and grow, the more that you'll be able to teach it to other people. So number five for the consistent activities that would create lasting change in your business is you have to be able to make it to live events. Make it a priority. If you have a company event coming up, make sure you register early, make sure you book your tickets and just commit to going there. Now, sometimes a lot of people would say, you know, I don't have the money right now. I don't have 
the time I can't take off from work. But at the end of the day, when you go to an event, you're making an investment in yourself. So you're telling yourself that you are worthy of the success that you are looking for. If you come up with all of these excuses, then you're basically telling yourself that you're not worthy of the success that you're looking for. And you're eventually going to quit building your business. So make sure whenever a live event comes up that you do whatever it takes that you can to make it out there. So I hope you have you got some value from this video. Make sure that you join my newsletter at deshramuniz.com for more valuable information and tips about building your business online. And I'll catch you guys in another video.